This album is really just a series of different songs about trying to find out what kind of person I am. There's like a crowd going, ah! I made this album to remind myself of how far I've grown and to remind others um, to try on different personalities and that that's okay to try on different personalities um, just to find the one that you like and fits you best. Um, this is my middle school. Yeah. Um, a lot of cringy memories happened here. I remember over here. Development takes time, and the ride along the way is confusing and stressful, but overall, it's fun. I remember, you can't really see it, but like, down there, there's these kids, I don't know if I should mention their names, I'm gonna just say their first names. This kid Adam, and this kid Hurley. Okay, Hurley <laughs> came up to Adam and pantsed him right there, and he got ISS, it was really funny, but it was also sad, bullying. Boo, but also funny. I don't know why I said that. So we're probably not gonna put that in. <laughs> Originally, I wanted to release this album in August of 2018, but that didn't happen because I didn't know how to record and still don't really. But that goes with the theme of the album, I guess, which is experimenting, like, <laughs> experimenting my sound, my voice, and my image, and who I aspire to be as a musician and a person. Um, that was funny. Hardcore. <laughs> right here is where me and my homies would chill before school starts. Really cool. That was like eight years ago? No, that was five? Yeah, about five. Five or six? The order of the songs at first, I was just going to put the songs in like alphabetical order because I live off of songs being in alphabetical order. Um, but then after I recorded Roads Are Being Paved, I sent it to my boyfriend Vincent and he immediately was like, "That that's the last song of your album, right? And after he said that, I was just like, that makes so much sense. You're so right. Like." To end the album with Roads Are Being Paved would mean that there's more to come and that this album is just the beginning. It would be like tying a knot in a perfect bow. After that suggestion, I started ordering the songs more personally, um, which is why Unless You Try is the first track. Because if I didn't write, if I didn't write that song, then I wouldn't have released this album. Um, on, on the date that I wanted to. It's really the song that made me push out the album. So it just made sense for it to be the first track. Yeah. Yeah, we were the bear cats. Bears are wild. The artwork for this album was made by the one and only Sarah Parr. I will have her Instagram in the description below, so please be sure to follow her and support her art and all that jazz. Um, I sent her, actually I sent her a horrible sketch of um, what I wanted, like the gist of what I wanted the art to be, and I actually still have it. It's so bad. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, that's basically uh, what I sent her, and she, she did so good. Like, I'm going to turn around so you can see my shirt. I don't know if you can see it. Okay. Um, yeah, she made it like so cool and really what I was like picturing in my head. I was in like a little kindness pass it on club. That was cute. That's where I met my favorite guidance counselor, Miss McCoy, I love you. This artwork was supposed to symbolize like having a person that looks disfigured or broken apart inside another person's head is really just like working on yourself and making sure that you are the person that you really want to be. Sometimes we just need to regroup everything. And I feel like we've all been there. So. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this album. And if you haven't already, go download it now. All the um, links will be in the description below. 
and tell your friends about it, share, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And remember, don't ever think too little about yourself because you'll only be who you think you'll be. So experiment yourself.